What is going on? It's Rob, aka Flight Sim today. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can generate our flight plan in Sky Vector and get that loaded up into the flight simulator and actually show Sky Vector within the sim. So, with that said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so how do we get our Sky Vector flight plan from here into the sim and also then showing up in our Sky Vector map? Well, the first thing I do is have everything, your whole flight plan laid out. So back right to Manchester, Lambourne, Welling, Trent. And what you want to do is you want to copy this flight plan from here and then open up the app called Little Nav Map. If you do a quick search, you can find this. Um, do a Google search, a little nav map, and it'll show up. Really neat app that I use all the time. But once you're in little nav map, you've got this create new flight plan from root description. And you click on there. You can paste in your root description. And you just need to put in your um, departure and destination. Have IFR, read root description. Okay, and then create the route. Now you will you see they added extra waypoints in, that's because of the airways that are on. Okay, but it's not major, major from there. But that's essentially the same flight plan that we see over in Sky Vector is now in a little nav map. And we want to go to save and then save flight plan as PLM. And then save your flight plan wherever you need to save it. I think I might have here we go save it in there and that's it so let's go over to the sim and then get this loaded up okay so here we are now in the sim and we want to create the sky vector flight plan that we moved into little nav map that now saved into a format that the flight sim will recognize and we want to load this up so to do so we either hit the spacebar go down to load save down here and simply find the flight that you saved and then load that up. Now, first thing to check is to make sure all the waypoints that you need to hit are in here. So the main point ones that we saw from our flight plan were uh, Lambourne, uh, Wellin, and Trent. Okay, and also then it recognizes the fact that we're at Gatwick and Manchester. And the first thing you'll see is that it has those set departing off two six left. If you went fly now, you'd be immediately on the runway. We don't want that, we want to start at a gate. Now, most people, First thing they'll do is they'll zoom down and they'll click on one of the parking gates that they want to go from. So for example, gate 89 and they'll go set departure. But what happens is the whole flight plan changes. Yes, you're at gate 89, but now look, we're going Gatwick direct to Manchester and that's what we don't want. We want that flight plan. So let's load it back up again. Okay, so we've got the waypoints back in here, but again, we're back off two six left. And the way we do this now is we want to drop down and find gate 89. Okay, there we go. So we're going to start on gate 89, but it still keeps our flight plan in. Okay, so now we've got that, we can set our conditions, our aircraft type, anything like that. And then we can go straight into the sim and I'll show you how then we deal with um, Sky Vector so you can see it on the fly as well. Okay, so now we're in the sim um, and we've got everything loaded up. What we have to do is go up to the menus, click the Sky Vector logo, which will load up this window. We're going to then paste our flight plan into here, selecting our, well, type our departure and destination and paste it in. And then literally that's it. You then you got your flight plan in going all the way from your departure destination within the sky vector. You can zoom in, no different. Um, if you don't mess around with it too much, you can also then, you know, basically do everything you can do with sky vector. It, it's just exactly the same. And like any other menu, you can close it when you want to bring it back, you can bring it back. Um, so it's really neat now to have a uh, sky vector available within the sim to fly on. But yeah, so if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs, give it a thumbs up, and do remember to subscribe. Other than that, 
Take care.